Last minute news, grain corridor message from President Erdogan regarding the grain corridor agreement, which was suspended on July 18th. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said, undoubtedly, the solution of this problem without further stalemate depends on the fulfillment of the promises of the Western countries. Our initiatives continue. We discussed the issue with Putin last week. I believe we can meet at the denominator, said. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan attended the 14th Ambassadors Conference held in Batep, making a speech here. President Erdogan gave important messages on foreign policy and the fight against terrorism. Highlights from President Erdogan's speech are as follows. We paid double the price for everything we have. They tried every way to tear our homeland apart. They used all the means to hinder Turkey's resurgence, but whatever they did, they could not achieve their goals. We did not surrender to the death-spitting tanks of Fedo traitors. We gave our lives, thousands of children of the homeland, as martyrs. But we did not leave a stain on our future. Our Ministry of Foreign Affairs is one of our institutions targeted by bloody traitors, especially Asala. Recently, successful projects have been carried out in the field of television and cinema. The stories of our martyrs have been brought to the screen. I wish God's mercy again to our diplomats who were martyred while representing our nation in different corners of the world. We are proud to reach the 100th anniversary of our republic this year. We will sail into the new century of our republic. None of our achievements were presented on a gold platter. With the reforms we have implemented in the last 21 years, we have freed our country from the shackles that have been put on its feet. We changed the face of Turkey in every field. We are trying to draw our future by drawing strength from our history. We broaden the horizon of our foreign policy. To cover the whole world, we opened Turkavi, which is the prestige project of our country. Two years ago, if we try to count here, we have brought countless successes to our country in the field of diplomacy. In the new era, we continue on our way with a brand new excitement. Our policy is very clear. TRKIY cannot watch events from the stands. Being active on the field and at the table is not a choice for us. It is an obligation. Just as we do not pursue tension, we do not succumb to pressure patiently and honorably. We are concerned about protecting Turkey's interests. Our efforts to expand our embassy network continue. Turkey has become a playmaker country that has left its mark on international relations in recent years, whose contribution is expected. The number of countries that attended our inauguration ceremony showed the power of Turkey. Return of Syrian migrants as Iraq and Syria stabilize. The dignified and safe return of refugees will accelerate as a nation. We have taken a great stance on this issue that will go down in the history of humanity. We have welcomed countless refugees. Our operations will continue until we eliminate the terror scourge. That threatens the territorial integrity of Turkey as well as Iraq. Grain agreements, you know. Our stance on Ukraine has received great appreciation all over the world in this process. We brought the warring parties together at the table. We made an effort to stop the bloodshed. Our work for the Black Sea Grain Initiative which was suspended as of July 17th, continues last week. We met with Putin and discussed the issue. I believe that we can find a common denominator on this issue. The positive atmosphere that started with the Black Sea Initiative was not well received by some countries. On the contrary, it was fueled by the fire, undoubtedly. The solution of this problem without further stalemate depends on the fulfillment of the promises. Of the Western countries, we will continue to work with all parties sincerely. The spread of the war to the Black Sea would be a complete disaster for our entire region. We are not after a fight with anyone. We are trying to increase the number of our friends. We are determined to maintain the positive atmosphere. We have created with the countries of the region, the UN NATO allies, the understanding that the state stays away from its citizens looks down on it 
and despises it just because of their faith has been shelved, never to be returned.